Hi, I'm Dave Waddell. I've worked for the past 30 years helping schools improve the environmental health and safety of their science, art, and technology programs. As an offshoot of this, I've helped amateur and professional artists stay healthy and protect the environment while creating vibrant art. Welcome back to uh, the Art Hazards Toxicology module. We're now at part three. We'll be talking about toxic metals. Uh, these are often called heavy metals, but uh, the more accurate term is toxic metals. Many pigments contain ground metal um, powders, so rocks that have been powdered up into fine dust that have colorants to them. Uh, some of these can be quite toxic, and generally inhalation is the route of concern. So if they're in solution, they're in a liquid form, it's tough to breathe them in. Um, if the particles are very large, it's tough to breathe them in, but the finer the particles of these metals get, the greater the danger is that you'll inhale them. So we're going to get into the details on some of these. So one of the uh, metals of concern is antimony. Uh, you notice it's got the California Proposition 65 warning that it's a reproductive hazard. So the harm that this can cause is if you breathe it in, it can harm your lungs, your heart. Uh, it can actually interfere with the enzyme function of your body. If you ingest it, please don't. Uh, it can cause kidney damage and respiratory failure. And skin contact with these materials can cause ulcers. Uh, the products where we find it used is Naples Yellow, number 41, or Antimony White, number 11. And it will be listed on the container if it's in there. Arsenic, we don't see nearly as much as, we, as was used in the past, but it's still in some products. Again, California Prop 65, reproductive hazard warning. Arsenic is corrosive to the skin. It damages the nervous system, kidneys, and mucous membranes, either by inhalation or by skin absorption and it can damage your skin, your bone marrow, or cause lung cancer if you breathe it in. Uh, there are a whole series of products where we used to find it. Uh, Paris green was one of the most common, uh, and other greens, uh, cobalt violet may contain it uh, because it could be an arsenate form, cobalt arsenate, and then some other greens, and then one yellow, which is yellow 39. Cadmium is very commonly found in art products. It's the beautiful red and oranges and yellows. Uh, it's poisoned by inhalation, so you don't want to spray it, apply it, and you don't want to inhale the dust, and poisonous by ingestion. It can cause internal organ damage, and if you get it into your system, it's been linked to lung and prostate cancer. Uh, cadmium red, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow are the, uh, the products we find it in mostly in watercolors, paints, uh, ceramics, a variety of different products. Chromium. Uh, can cause lung damage, and it's a skin and respiratory irritant. It's also a carcinogen if it's in the chromate form. And there's a whole series of chromates that we find, barium, lead, strontium, and zinc chromates, as well as chromic oxide and chromic sulfate. Uh, look for the yellow, if you see chromium yellows and chromium oranges, those tend to be the carcinogenic form. The greens are a less toxic form of uh, chromium products. Cobalt. Inhalation of cobalt products have been linked to asthma and fibrosis of the lungs. Ingestions linked to heart damage. And it's viewed as an animal carcinogen. Quite often what we'll find is over time, things that are found to be an animal carcinogen will end up being a human carcinogen as we do more research on them. One of the things we use uh, cobalt for is uh, cobalt naphthenate is used to dry uh, products. So it'll be added to oil paints. And we'll see it in the aqua oils, which are becoming popular. And this is a volatile, inhalable, combustible form of cobalt. It makes it much easier to get exposed to. It's the classic cobalt blue, but it's also found in yellow uh, and in cerulean blue. Lead is very commonly used in art products in, for a variety of reasons. One is that white lead is optically transparent, so it works great in glass. Lead melts at a very low uh, temperature, but boils at a very high temperature, so it becomes fluid in things like ceramics and glass working, uh, which makes it much smoother and easier to uh, carry pigments throughout your, your artwork. It's toxic by inhalation and ingestion and is a neurotoxin. It's linked to nervous system problems. It's been linked to cancer and reproductive effects. And children are much more at risk from lead exposures. You wanna really be careful about using any lead products around children, especially under the age of six. There's a whole variety of products where you can find this and they're listed on, on the slide here. Manganese, another Proposition 65 product, not as toxic by ingestion um, and by inhalation as some of the other metals, 
but it does pose some risks. It's an irritant to the lungs and eyes. And if you inhale the stuff year after year and week after week, chronic inhalation can cause nervous system problems that resemble ner Parkinson's disease. It's used in just a dryer. It's used in a lot of different colorants. And one of the places we find artists being exposed to it is through welding. It's in welding rods. And smoke from welding can cause uh, in serious enough inhalation over a long enough period of time where we start finding uncontrolled shaking and other neuro, neuro um, problems in welders. Mercury, we don't see nearly as much as was used in the past. Uh, it's toxic by inhalation in the skin contact and ingestion. It causes uh, nervous system damage. Uh, cinnabar and vermilion are uh, two of the colorants where we find it, and in the mercadium uh, compounds. But uh, it'll be in a red uh, pigment, uh, mercuric sulfide, which is what the ore cinnabar uh, is made of. All nickel compounds are linked to cancer by inhalation. So nickel compounds are ones you want to be careful of. They also tend to cause skin allergies that can be quite severe in some people, and eczema. If you inhale a significant amount of nickel, it can cause pulmonary edema where your lungs fill up with fluid, uh, which can be a serious health risk. It's in nickel yellow and nickel titanate, uh, titanium yellow and uh, other yellows and one green, green tan. To learn more about chemical hazards in schools, visit doh.wa.gov slash school environment.